will adjust basically what the picture looks like. Now we can basically look at a bunch of sine graphs, we can look at a bunch of cosine graphs. Matter of fact, we could use all six different trig functions. Okay, but for right now, let's just think about sine and cosine, and we want to see what happens as we change basically the A and the B. Okay? Now if you think about it, when A gets bigger, isn't that kind of like an amplitude? Right? Now, if you were graphing a rectangular, a bigger amplitude just means further from the x-axis, right? In polar, it means further from the center, okay? So the bigger this number is, as you go around the circle, you're further away. Does that make sense? Now, think about what happens when this number gets bigger. That affects the period, right? The bigger this number is, what happens to the period when this number gets bigger? The period gets smaller, right? Which means it kind of fluctuates faster, okay? So when this gets bigger, that causes us to go further away from the center. When this gets bigger, it means we fluctuate more often, right? So watch, let's go ahead and do this on the calculator. So let's start with just r equals sine of theta. Then we'll look at r equals 3 sine of theta, and then let's look at this. Okay, so watch what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm just going to type in just sine of theta for now. So sine of, let me clear that. Sine of theta. Now, since I already did my zoom square thing, I don't need to do that again. I can just go ahead and graph. Now, it's really hard to see, but there's actually a circle here, okay? Now, if I want to see it better, if your picture is too small, now guys, listen, it's really important. You always want to do the zoom standard first, then the zoom square, and then after that, if this is too small, watch what you can do. You can go zoom in. Zoom in, and then hit enter, and now we can actually see that circle. Everybody see that? Okay, now, what do you think is gonna happen if instead of sine theta, I have two sine theta? What do you think? So again, before I hit this uh, graph button, if I have two sine theta instead of sine theta, what's that gonna do? It's gonna make my amplitude bigger, right? Which means I'm gonna go further away from the center. So what's that gonna do to the circle? To make it bigger, does that make sense? Well, we're gonna experiment, let's see what happens. So, graph, there you go. So this one was r equals sine theta. Now we have two sine theta. So can anybody tell me what happens when a gets bigger? The picture gets bigger, right? It's basically kind of like an amplitude. When you increase the amplitude of a rectangular graph, it stretches vertically, right? Well, in this case, it's going to literally stretch in every direction. Because as you're turning and going further away, it's just stretching, stretching, stretching. Okay, it just makes it get bigger every way. All right? Now, let's see what happens when we put a number here. So let's see what happens if we have 2 sine of 2 theta. You ready? Wow, look at that. Before we only had one loop, now because that period is, is uh, changing, the period is actually getting smaller, it's actually fluctuating more often, right? I mean, before you had to go all the way around for one loop. Now, you might wonder why did it go all the way from one to four when all we did was double this? Now this is actually kind of cool. The first circle was actually two circles. You know why? Because look, you had basically one that looked like this, right? 
And then as you kept turning, there was like one behind you, which happened to like overlap on that one. Remember, we saw that, right? Well, this one circle is actually two circles that overlap each other. But so what happens is those two circles end up doubling when you put this here. Does that make sense? So now let's see what happens if we change that number again. As a matter of fact, let me just do it here. So two sine of, how about three theta? Look at that. Okay, now of course, if the picture is looking a little confusing to you, I can basically go like this and I can deselect the ones I don't want. You see the equal sign? Does everybody see that? Notice if I hit the enter, I can deselect it. I can also reselect it again. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to deselect these two so that way we're only looking at two sine of three theta. And there you go. Okay? Now, I'm going to leave it to you to experiment with other numbers. I'm also going to leave it to you to find out what happens when you change between sine and cosine. Okay? And guys, I showed you how to do it on the calculator. Now, I'm going to offer you guys a special extra credit opportunity. Are you guys listening? This is totally optional. But some of you really, really want to do this. Okay? Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take your lowest tests that you've gotten so far. Okay? Whether that was on con or whether